Comment 1301 uh, tells you that when you're connecting points in order to make a graph, so for example, if you'd graphed a cubic using intercepts, and you basically have to connect these, and let's say you know that it's a snake that comes from down low and ends up up high, um, it basically tells you that there's no reason why your y-intercept has to be the highest point on the or the lowest point on the graph. There's so many times I've seen students force themselves into an awkward graph by um, making the y-intercept the highest point. Now in this case I got away with it. That's still a nice smooth symmetrical cubic shape. But there'll be instances where your graph will look ridiculous if you try and make the y-intercept the highest point or the lowest point. So if, for example, this came from this graph here, then I know that it's got to be a nice, smooth, symmetrical parabola shape. Um, oh, whoops, going to be that. Um, and so therefore, if that's going to be the y-intercept, it really needs to go much higher before descending down again. If you try and make that the highest point, your graph will look ridiculous. So anyway, comment 1301. Don't feel that your y-intercept needs to be the highest point on the graph.